What are the side effects of saffron? We are going to answer one of the questions that have been sent to us about the side effects of saffron. So basically, what are the side effects of saffron? Side effect is a, is a little bit a strong word for saffron. However, um, if you take anything in, out of the ordinary or out of the balance, so it, it's going to have a side effect. Okay. Our body, for instance, contains 70% of water, more than even 70%. And if you take, Alex, 12 glass of water per day or 12 liters of the water per day, you practically sink your cells. Okay, so, so you can actually drown in yeah, water. You can practically if you drink too yeah, much. Exactly. Right. I mean, as simple as that. Yeah. So what happens if we have too much saffron? Well, uh, first of all, it's almost impossible for anyone to take too much saffron. Okay. What are what are the dosages that well, we should take? The dosage of the saffron started from 20 milligram, which is the one fiftieth of the gram, goes all the way to half a gram in really, really, really strong cases. Okay, 20 yeah. milligram to. 500, 500 milligram. Yeah. In extreme cases. Yeah, in extreme cases. I mean, and not in, not even every day. So for half a gram, it's not going to be everyday cases. Yeah. Saffron, as we all know, is the stigma from the plant Sativus crocus. The stigma or threads, some yeah. people call it. Yeah. So obviously carries a lots of natural pollen, which is the plant base. So it's a it's a flower with the stigma and a lots of pollen. Just That's like any other flower. Exactly. So the reason that many people may um, experience the little bit of the kind of, you know, um, um, I don't know, allergy look okay. situation is coming from the pollen right. and it's coming from the fact that saffron is a plant based. Yeah. So that's one of the side effects yeah. of saffron if you are already allergic to pollens. Yeah. However, it is not a life threaten at all. I mean, I never heard or read or I never seen any research done about the matter of saffron, I don't know, killing someone or all those things. Especially if you're only taking, let's say, like 50 milligram yeah. per day, which is a tiny, tiny amount. Yeah. The amount of pollen that's going to be in 50 uh, milligram is, of is, saffron. is almost, you cannot even count it. Okay, yeah. all right. But, but if you are extremely allergic to everything, including pollens, then we suggest that you seek advice from a health professional, your doctor, Yep. Or one of the easiest way to test it is uh, having the saffron, just a small amount of it, and yep. apply it on your skin as a dry saffron. Okay. A little bit play with it. See what is the skin reaction. If you have such a reaction to pollen, your skin will attract it straight away, and um, you will you will notice the kind of you know eczema or rash into your skin. Yeah. Okay. If so you have any allergy. Shall I shall I read this list for you? Well, sure. Yeah. Or do you have something more general you want to talk well, about? Well, um, something that is important, Alex, and I want people to know is if you born in the society that using a saffron is not part of the culture, I would suggest that um, when you when you decided to take a saffron, take it easy and take it gradually and slowly. Okay. So uh, and The reason she's saying that is because we are born in Iran. Yeah. And in Iran, saffron is used in just about everything. Everything, yeah. From morning to night, from soups to so, desserts so we, to... So we practically having saffron in our blood even, 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 yeah. even before we're born. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, but if you are from a Western country that saffron is not part of your culture, then you should uh, consider yeah. this advice. Well, and, and look, I want to really stress this one. Even if you are not considering to taking a caution, I will guarantee that you will never ever get harmed by using the 50 milligram of saffron a day. That's, that's, that's absolutely safe, so absolutely safe. We do have other videos that explains the benefits of taking saffron. In this video, however, we are only focusing on the side effects yeah. or what could happen that you probably is negative yeah. so some people have asked about dry mouth yeah what do you think about well that? Uh, honestly um, I think the number of the people in the whole world that they may experience such a, a side effects is so little there is no any research about it okay I haven't seen any research whatsoever another thing is some people taking saffron uh, with other things so it might be the effect of those things not the saffron okay. for instance if you take saffron with the turmeric 
So the high amount of the turmeric will create a lots of blood, uh, lots of uh, dryness in your mouth. Okay. So and you will never know which one is the cause of the uh, dry mouth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The second point I have here is people who are uh, uh, thinking that anxiety is one of the side effects of take, taking saffron and agitation. Is that correct? Well, if someone having a um, um, kind of you know habit of getting lots of adrenaline. So obviously saffron is working against adrenaline. Okay. Yeah. So by taking saffron, exactly. you're reducing your adrenaline. You're reducing the adrenaline, therefore you're getting you more testosterone. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're getting more. More uh, serotonin. Serotonin. <laughs> serotonin. <laughs> yeah. More serotonin is against adrenaline. So serotonin bring you down, make you calm, make you relaxed, make you collective, whereas adrenaline take you high. So the highness of the adrenaline is not really a study, whereas the calmness of serotonin is very study. That's why for those people who are um, addicted to junkie, okay. so it, it's really hard to take saffron. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that will actually go against what the exactly, habit is yeah. and cause some sort of anxiety exactly, in them. Yeah? Yeah. All right, um, drowsiness. Well, it is it is natural drowsiness. Uh, obviously, when you take saffron and your the serotonin goes up, okay. your body it will go to the resting and relaxing uh, condition. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget uh, during the evening hours, uh, if you don't have a screen stuck to your face, uh, which is the emitting blue light, uh, during the evening hours your body takes all the serotonin that it has and turns it into melatonin, yeah. which gets you ready for sleep. So that could be if you're feeling sleepier or you're getting deeper sleep, uh, it could be because your serotonin levels are going up. Is Absolutely, that correct? Absolutely, yes, yeah. it is correct. Yeah. Uh, the next one was uh, low mood. So I'm not sure how taking saffron can bring your mood down or low mood. Okay, Alex, look, um, human is the soup of the hormones. Sure. So especially in our brain, uh, we get a lots of um, neurotransmitter that they are controlling our uh, kind of you know general mood mm. so if we are really happy or if we are low or if we are just you know here and there so um, we need to look at the individual to see what is their condition okay if they are experiencing with the severe um, uh, alzheimer if they are uh, experiencing severe i don't know uh, depression if they are experiencing severe so many different type of you know disorder in the brain in the nervous system so obviously Saffron coming through the story and adding more um, um, serotonin. serotonin, it will change the balance with the, with the hormones that they experience for a long time. Okay. But I truly believe, and this is not just my beliefs, many, many scientists, they believe that as you build up the serotonin in your body through taking a saffron as a natural source of building serotonin, so the rest of the hormones gradually and slowly will balance. That's why scientists putting in lots of light for the last 10-15 years over the usage of the saffron for the patient with the AD, ADHD, yeah. with the um, um, case of depression, anxiety, anxiety and um, so many different, yeah, MS yeah. as well as as well as Alzheimer, yeah. dementia, and all those type of different different genre of the brain and the nervous system yeah. disorders. Yeah. Yeah. Just to conclude, using regular dosages of saffron. Uh, promotes production of serotonin in your gut, which is 70% of serotonin is created in the gut. And also it uh, reduces free radicals in the body or actually helps the body neutralize the free radicals in the system uh, by having high dosages of antioxidants. So these are not side effects, obviously. These are the benefits of saffron. I just thought I'll throw it in this video just so that you know. And um, regarding dosage of saffron, we will have another video which we talk exclusively about how much saffron you need to be taking uh, depending on your condition and we have other videos about how to prepare your saffron if you are using it in terms of medicinal benefits. Sure. Well Alex, uh, what I like to mention to, to everyone is um, what we try is we're trying to make saffron as easy as people to take. So if you um, uh, endure us and if you stay with us, you will learn so many different, very simple way of how to, how to bring saffron to your everyday life and how to enjoy saffron and how to know what is the goodness, goodness about the saffron. And that brings this video to conclusion. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, here's a little um, discount code. If you guys are interested to purchase some saffron, 
experience the benefits of saffron for yourself, please use this code at the checkout. Please don't hesitate to ask any question that you have. If we do know the answer, we will respond to you. And if we do not, we will do the research on your behalf and we will find a solution. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.